I do want to dive in and, and ask you how you got started in poker. I saw you're from Jersey. It's I, I'm not even familiar with that. It's yeah. Island and, and you're in yeah, the, it's little island next to France. Next to France. So you okay? So you were you were born and raised there in in Jersey, and how it's small. I, I, was, I was raised raised in the UK. In the UK, but you were born in Jersey, and then how did you get into poker? How did you first find this game? So I played it a bit when I was like 13, 14, and I'd often just play against my friends for like five or 10 pounds whilst we're getting drunk and eating pizza. Um, and I loved it then, but I, I never got seriously into it until I was 19. And then the person that I was living with at the time whilst we were doing A-levels said that he was playing online poker and he was like, you should really give it a go. And I was like, I don't really want to. It sounds like not that interesting. But I saw him playing. I remember now he was playing nine max two and L. And he had made like a dollar fifteen. He was like, "This is really easy." I was like, "Fine, all right, I'll try it." Um, so I deposited ten pounds, and the first sit and go that I played was a, I can't remember exactly, probably like a ninety man one dollar or something. And I won it for forty five dollars. It's probably one hundred eighty man, and I was pretty hooked at that point. And so I, I, in parallel to doing my A levels, I then started grinding micro stakes and low stakes sit and goes, and then Zoom cash games. And then I decided, okay, I'm going to take one year out before university because I was, I was planning on doing a maths degree and then going into either banking or some kind of theoretical physics, probably. And, what, and I said, you, okay. And just, to, just to interrupt you, you're 20, are you 26, five? How old are you? 26, yep. 26. So what year, this is what year and when did, how old were you when you started doing playing? I guess it's 2013-ish and I was 19 at this point. Okay. So you're 19, you say you're going to take a year before college uh, yeah. and you're going to, you're going to give it a go? Yeah, so I, I thought I'd go all in and I moved back to Jersey actually and lived with my grandma and I did not speak barely to anyone for the, the next year. And I said, okay, if I can make it in this year, then I'll, I won't go to university and I'll just do poker. So I really felt like it could be a thing. Uh, and I, I said, okay, I had 1K at this point. I was like, if I can turn this into 100K, then I'll, I'll definitely just not go to university. And um, I got up to 510 pretty quickly online cash games and I was like 24 tabling playing 16 hours a day. It was, it was pretty can intense. Um, and then I, what stakes and how was it? Six max, nine max. Yeah. 20, 24 tabling, uh, six max between one, two and five ten by the end. I mean, listen, I've, I've done, I don't know. I've done something maybe like 12 or so of six max cash, I think, but I, mean, I saw the Nanonoko in, in person do the record at the time at the PCA. Oh, was, no way you were there. Yeah, that was, I think it was like 42 or something, I, some crazy number, and he had to book a profit and play for so long. But, I mean, I, to put that in perspective, that is, uh, that's insane, right? Like 24, I mean, are, are you timing out? How did you, did you stack? Did you tile? Like, I'm just fascinated how you could <laughs> do that. That's yeah, I was, uh, I, I was playing quite a, at first, quite a tight, style so i wasn't playing as many hands as as i would have been um i remember it was at one point tight enough that i'd be folding king jack suited under the gun six max um so it was definitely slower than it could have been but then i i did step it up once my intuition kind of kicked in my autopilot was better um but it definitely wasn't the best in terms of me getting good at poker so if anyone's listening out there and they're wondering how many tables they, they should play looking back I would have been, a, I would have gotten a lot better at poker a lot quicker if I hadn't played as many tables because I wasn't thinking through as much. Um, but the one thing I was doing was outside of playing, I was constantly thinking about poker, constantly just like, okay, if, if I flop this and this many big blinds deep, can I lead in this spot against this kind of player, etc. And I'd, I'd be doing that day in day out. But when you're when you're playing twenty four player or twenty four tables, because I mean, listen, po I started playing on I don't know two thousand four, two thousand five, right online. It was crazy, like the heyday of uh, people were giving it away to to put it lightly. But then in two thousand, I'm talking about post Black Friday, the game was tougher for sure. So like twenty four tables, I mean, you're not really, you I mean, you're playing cards, you're playing the spots, the ranges, but were you actually, you had notes on guys? Like you can't take notes 24 tabling. Did you go back and hit replay and go through and tag opponents? Like how are you maneuvering 24 tables? Cause it's hard. It's almost impossible to like make a re like, you know, like against a guy. Yeah. I don't I mean, know. I, I, think, I would imagine you're not playing 24, like all the time. Like sometimes it's six or 10 or 12, or were you just like, you'd open it up in 24 reg. Uh, there, there was a good, good few months where I try and just get as many as I could. And then I'd, I'd go up and down and experiment with it. Um, 
I, I think that the more one is in tune with their intuition, the, the more tables they can play quite profitably. But the thing is, and you'll probably know this as well, that when you're an intuitive player, when you use more intuition than the average person, it's very easy for that to just be knocked and everything to just go to shit. You know, if you watch one of the, the best chess players in the world or the best chess player in the world, Magnus Carlsen, he's a very intuitive chess player, but there are moments where he's he's just off and he's like, oh, I'm just off. And then he's just not making any of the right decisions in comparison to how he normally would. Mm -hmm. And it, it, for me, it's the same with poker. I, I can be in the zone and I can play 24 tables and I'm just feeling out every single spot and I'm not even thinking. But then I, I can be out of the zone and I can be playing two tables and I'm still making a bunch of mistakes. Um, so I now when I'm playing, I, I really do adjust based on how I'm feeling. And if I need to slow things down, slow thought processes down and meditate more, then I'll, I'll, I'll put down to even like two tables sometimes if I'm tournamenting. If you're enjoying the way that I'm speaking about poker, teaching poker, I do have a website, charliecarroll.com. Link is in the description below. You'll find on there a mindset masterclass, which I think is the most important, teaching you how to deal with tilt, anxieties, ambition, things like that. You'll find a poker masterclass completely teaching you how to restructure the way that you think about poker. And you'll find a complete archive of the bank roll challenge.